I'm glad this is over a lot quickly here. Quick, whoa. Hi everybody, my name is Rosalie and welcome back to my channel, Back to Chubby. I'm sure you can tell from my voice, I'm still a little bit sick, but it is nowhere near as bad as it was. I don't sound better, but I feel way better. Like my head is much, much clearer and I'm still coughing some stuff up and still have to blow my nose a lot. My throat's still kind of gravelly, but I'm glad that I seem to have gotten over it a lot quicker than I did the last one. I probably shouldn't have said that, I might have jinxed myself, but so far, I'm feeling a lot better. Today is not a do it with me weight loss. I'm not going to meal prep today, um, mostly because we aren't actually doing a meal plan this week. We are going to be going out of town later this week, and so rather than doing a full week of shopping and meal prep and stuff, we're just gonna kinda wing it for the next few days and see how we do, use up some of the stuff we have around the house. Like we still have some salmon frozen and we still have some leftover vegetables and green beans, things like that. So we're just going to eat like normal, semi-healthy people would <laughs> and see how we do. We are going to be going on a trip, which I'm really excited about and I will talk about more when I get back from it, but I am a little bit worried because Right now, I'm going on day four of being constipated, which has just sort of started to become my modus operandi, my normal way of being, which I'm real happy about, obviously. But um, I've been trying to not get dependent on things that make me go to the bathroom. So we're gonna be traveling a lot, <clears throat> and if this situation doesn't resolve itself before then, that's not gonna be fun. My stomach's already starting to hurt and hurt into my lower back, and I'm still on my period. This is day 12, I wanna say, which I know for some of you are like, what, that doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't sound right, but it's because I have PCOS. This is nothing abnormal for me. Um, I'm not happy about it, but it's nothing that, it doesn't freak me out at all. I just hope it's done by the time we leave. So that being said, this Friday, instead of doing a weigh-in, I have another video um, ready to go, sort of that part two of some of the diets I've tried in the past, where I actually talk about <laughs> the diets themselves versus whatever happened last time. So today I thought I would just sort of talk at, with, you, to you, to you. Two is probably best. I'm just gonna sort of vlog today. Along with some of like the gut concerns I have traveling, I'm a little bit concerned because it's gonna be a really long drive for us. Um, and when I travel, I tend to gain weight and some of it's the way I eat, but some of it, even if I'm being very careful, I will bloat. And I think it has to do with stress, like cortisol and anxiety a little bit. So I'm worried about finding that balance between drinking enough water and trying to keep some of that water retention down and having to stop every 30 minutes to pee. <laughs> like we're gonna be going on like an eight hour drive one way. I don't wanna be uncomfortable the whole time and I don't wanna have to make the drive take longer than it needs to. <laughs> but it'll be fine. Okay, I guess I'll talk about it just a little bit. I'll, I'll show you some of it when I get back, but um, Josh and I have never gone on a trip, just the two of us, that's not true. We went on a trip one time when we were either towards the end of our engagement or the beginning of our marriage, I don't really remember, um, but we hadn't been together for that long and we were broke. Um, and I live in Kansas, and at the time I lived in Wichita, Kansas. It was just a couple hours drive over to Missouri, and we were gonna go in the fall and see the leaves change, and go to Mark Train National Forest, and the whole trip was only gonna be a couple days because we were broke, um, so we could really only afford like two nights in a hotel, 
and we weren't gonna do anything that cost any money because again, we were broke. But we drove to Missouri and <laughs> With our luck, all the leaves had already fallen and died, so that was sort of out. And then the very next morning when we were trying to figure out what to do, I started getting really bad pains in my stomach and feeling really sick. And to make a long story shorter, it ended up with us coming back to Wichita and me being in the hospital for a week because my gallbladder went bad and had to be taken out. <laughs> so um, that was our trip. And then uh, we have taken another trip with family members before but just the two of us we've never done anything we didn't go on a honeymoon or anything and this isn't going to be a honeymoon by any means it's just a like a few days long trip but it's just going to be the two of us and we're going to drive to Colorado and we're going to go like up to Pikes Peak and the Garden of the Gods and other stuff like that and I wouldn't say we're broke right now, but um, we also don't have a lot of money right now. <laughs> this is stretching it a little bit for us, but we've both been going through some rough times right now. Some rough family stuff on Josh's side and a lot of stress and anxiety and just we need to get a little away for a little bit and it's a little bit stressful because I mentioned before I work from home and part of what I do from home I do several things I, like I wish YouTube was my job but it's not it's not even it's not even my top three one of those jobs I'm the only person in that position and if I take off and there's no one to cover it that could mean several thousand dollars of lost revenue for the people who work for the company. I'm basically the office manager and nobody else is there to make appointments or schedule anything or answer questions or take payments or et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. That, that isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna pay someone else <laughs> um, to cover my position for two days so that we can be gone for Thursday, Friday, and then come back on Sunday. Um, but I've been trying to like think of every eventuality that might happen while I'm gone. And it's a job that allows me some freedom and flexibility, but you're basically on call for nine hours a day. And it's, I'm sure everybody has that in their jobs. There's things that you think to tell people and there's things that you never you don't even think about them because they happen so rarely and it's just I know that if I leave one of those things is gonna happen <laughs> so I've been trying to think up every single little thing I do and every single way to do it every eventuality that might happen all of the people that the person who's covering for me might have to talk to um, where she can go if she can't get a hold of me and she has a question and she's only gonna be covering me for two days but I've already basically written an entire manual for my position <laughs> and I'm not done. Um, so I think I put a little bit more stress on myself than I need to and I'm probably gonna hand it to her and she's gonna be like, okay, wait, <laughs> this isn't what I signed up for. But it's really not as bad as it looks. Anyway, so we'll be gone for a few days and we're still gonna try and do the things that aren't very expensive like Garden of the Gods is free to go into. And I've mentioned before that one of the things I want to do when I lose weight, and it wasn't actually on this channel, I don't think. Um, as part of the Biggest Get Healthy YouTube collab, one of the questions we had answered was, what's like a goal that you have for yourself? Besides the actual number, when you lose weight, what are you, what are you doing? Like, what are you going to work towards? And one of my answers was that I have traveled to some beautiful places and some amazing places and felt like my body was ruining it for me and the people I was with. Like a few years ago, my parents were kind enough to take me and Josh along um, with my little brother when we went through like uh, Wyoming and uh, we went to Yellowstone and Glacier National Park and Montana and through South Dakota and the Badlands and stuff. It was just sort of a whirlwind week long trip 
We went to all these beautiful natural places. And when I was younger, I loved to hike. And there were several natural places around my grandparents' property where I would go and I would hike when I was younger. And I loved being out in nature and I loved climbing things and exploring things and finding my way. And so then a few years ago, I wasn't absolutely the heaviest I've been, but I was pretty close. I was probably right around um, 4.15-ish. So about 20 pounds away from my highest um, and only, gosh, 45-ish something odd pounds away from where I'm at now. But <clears throat> in this, when we went there, I wanted to walk the trails at Yellowstone or just, just standing there waiting for Old Faithful to go off was like torture. Torture is a strong word, but it, it hurt really bad. It hurt my spine, it hurt my knees, hurt my ankles, everything hurt. I was getting out of breath just standing there waiting for this geyser to blow. And so we had, um, we also went on this one really short, like half mile loop, which I mean, granted, it's a pretty big change in elevation and it's not even, but I had to stop like every few minutes. And a few minutes for me walking was as long as it took other people to get to the end of the trail and start their way back. It was terribly embarrassing so frustrating. I felt like I couldn't enjoy everything around me. I couldn't really appreciate where I was at because of how much pain I was in. Like even my lungs hurt. Also, the change in elevation from where I'm at now to Yellowstone was monumental and there was already a huge oxygen change for me. So I would have a hard time breathing just sort of sitting there um, and then moving around was terrible as far as breathing goes. Anyway, I've noticed just with the 60 something pounds I've lost, it's kind of like when you start lifting weights, you build up all this resistance and you've got, you get to where you can lift a certain amount or press a certain amount or whatever comfortably. And then when you drop down, it's much easier to handle whatever the lower resistance or the lower weight is, if that makes sense. I hope that analogy made sense. It did to me. So anyway, I've gotten to where my body, it wasn't doing it well or comfortably, but my body was supporting 435 pounds and now it's got less to work with. And so now it feels easier for me to walk around. I still have a hard time walking really far and talking at the same time. I can walk and not get out of breath uh, very easily, but once I start talking, I'll start getting out of breath uh, or talking at the same time, I'll get out of breath. And it had been though, while I was really heavy, um, and side note, this is something else I might talk about later because I've mentioned in the past that I taught at a university and when I quit teaching, I was at my heaviest. And your weight affects the way people treat you a lot. And a lot of people will assume just because you're fat means you're stupid. The jump there is real easy for a lot of people to make and so that was one of the problems I felt I was encountering while I was teaching was that people would look at me and automatically assume I wouldn't know what I was going to talk about or I wouldn't, that it was a fluke for some reason that I was up in front of the classroom. But um, I also mentioned last week I went back into the classroom and I was guest lecturing for my friend and mentor in her class. And I was really nervous about it. Um, and it didn't occur to me until afterwards that part of the reason I was nervous was because a lot of times in my class, I would start to get out of breath just standing there and talking to people. But in her class, I stood there for the full hour and a half. I walked back and forth and I talked. I was able to like go over here and point at this thing, walk up front and talk to people. I hopped up on a desk to sit on it and talk to people, which is not something I... But... 
I didn't get out of breath the whole time. I did like start hacking up a lung halfway through, but that was just because I was talking and starting to get sick. Anyway, so my hope is, reeling it back to where I was trying to go with this, my hope is that when we go to like the Garden of the Gods, I'm gonna actually be able to enjoy it and in a way that I haven't been able to in years. We still plan on doing some of the less strenuous stuff. So for example, at Garden of the Gods, there's like, I think it's a half mile or a mile loop that's pretty level. There's only like a 30 to 40 foot change in elevation. So we're gonna do that first and see how it goes. But I think that feels doable to me. And then we might go from there. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna get any like crazy ideas and start trying to climb rock faces or anything. Although I do have pictures of me from when I was a lot younger on some of the giant boulders there that I wish I could find. Also, turns out you're not supposed to do that unless you have a permit. Whoops. I'm just looking forward to going back there and actually being able to enjoy what I'm going there to see and to experience. Now, it's still not quite what I want to do. I still want to get back into shape enough so that I could actually go actually hiking, not just on some paved trail through a pretty area, but being able to go on that paved trail is more than I could do last summer. And it's more than I could do the summer before or the summer before that. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to getting away, even just for a couple days. I know I'm making a lot of work for myself now, trying to like basically put together an office manual for um, my friend who's gonna watch the business for two days, but I feel like that'll take, it'll give me peace of mind while we're gone and hopefully give her some peace of mind when she realizes I'm not like, hey, do this stack of papers and she realizes the stack of papers is for just in case that happens. It doesn't quite seem real that we're getting ready to leave so soon because this was all very rushed and very last minute. I don't want to say rushed. I mean, we're, we've been planning carefully and I've traveled by myself quite a bit, so I feel like I've started to get the hang of traveling. Um, but Josh has not traveled as much as I have, so I'm looking forward to taking him to Colorado and some of the places he's never seen. He's driven through Colorado, but it was at like 3 in the morning when we were doing a cannonball run from Wichita to Montana. <laughs> so... Um, he didn't actually see anything. That does mean also that part of our drive is through western Kansas and a lot of people when they think Kansas think just like flat fields, not a lot to see. Um, and for the most part that's, I mean not really, like I live in the Flint Hills which are definitely not flat. I mean they're not mountainous or anything but there's a lot of variation in this side of the state. Well, once you start getting into western Kansas, that's where that stereotypical image of just flat nothing <laughs> comes from for Kansas. Like on this side of the state, we've got cities with half a million people. On that side of the state, we have a bunch of little towns that might make up a population of less than half of one of those cities. So, it'll be an interesting drive, but I'm just ready to, I'm ready. So, I am going to wrap this up so hopefully I can get it uh, edited and put up at a decent time tonight. Even though I'm going to be out of town, again, there still will be videos this week. Um, Another thing I thought I might do for you guys was review a few things. Um, so let me know down below if that's something you'd even be interested in seeing. Because if it's not, I won't bother. But I know I said I'd review that poster for you guys and we never ended up using it. So I will still do that someday. Um, but I'm actually thinking of a few things I've already used. Some of which is more helpful for you guys than others probably. But, or more related to this channel than others, but um, yeah, just let me know if that's something you'd even want to see, and there might be three videos this week. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys, well, I won't see you.
I mean, I will. It'll be a pre-recorded version of me. We'll see you at least on Friday, possibly Wednesday, if that's something you guys are interested in. So I hope wherever you guys are, you are safe and happy and healthy. Remember to just keep trying the best you can, and I will sort of see you on Friday.